All right, the good weather is here. Summertime, salads, outside, barbecues, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna show you a beautiful zingy squid salad packed full of flavor. And you know what? There's only a few ingredients in there and I'm using some generic jar products to bring the flavor home with this as well. So you can do this at home easily. Don't be afraid of it. I've got some fresh squid. I got that from the fishmonger. I've asked them just for some clean squid. And so what they've given me is the squid tube, and then I've got the tentacle, all separately, all cleaned, pretty much ready to use. All I've got to do is just a tiny little bit of prep. Then I've got these cassava crackers. If you see these in any Asian grocer, they are fantastic. They puff up a bit like a prawn cracker, except they're crunchier and more delicious. And that's gonna be the crunch in the salad. Delicious. The rest of it, herbs, lime juice, loads of flavor. So let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna cut up a cucumber. And what I wanna do is salt this cucumber to draw some of the water out so as it can stay crunchy when it's in the salad. So we're just gonna cut it up and then we're just gonna put that into a bowl. And all that's gonna do, that salt is gonna draw the water out of the cucumber. And then when we toss it around the salad, it's gonna be extra crunchy, which is delicious, so. Now, the squid. Easily prepared the squid. I'll show you how it's done. We take the wings off. And you'll see there's a little transparent line that runs all the way down the middle. Just use that as your guide. Just slip the knife all the way up. Like that. You'll see there's a bit of slimy goo in the middle, just from the innards of the squid. Scrape that off. I'm just gonna cut sort of two centimeter strips on an angle. Can cut it really any way. So do exactly the same thing with the wing. Just cut it roughly the same size. As I said, doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna cook it really quickly anyway. The tentacles. Some of these guys, the bigger the squid, the longer the tentacles. Look at the length of that. Can you imagine trying to eat that? Be like trying to eat spaghetti, too much. So we're just gonna cut that down a little bit. Otherwise it will be too, too much. And then with the tentacle itself, you'll find that you can just break it open and then we'll cut it into sections. So as everyone gets a bit of tentacle because the texture of the tentacle is delicious. So usually I just cut them in pairs, I just cut them straight off. Okay, so that is now ready. I'm pretty much ready to cook, believe it or not. That is how simple this recipe is. So stove on, full whack. I'm going hot, hot, I want it hot. I've got barbecue sauce. Now this is a, a Chinese barbecue sauce, store bought, Bullhead is a brand. You can buy other brands as well, but I'll just tell you what's in it because it, it matters. Minced dry fish, garlic, ginger, shallots, coconut powder, dried shrimp, chili powder, salt, pepper. Delicious, right? Quick way to get flavor into this salad without doing a whole bunch of work. Nasi lemak, chili sauce, Malaysian vibes going on here. I've got you to buy this. If you've been doing a lot of our recipes, you should have a jar of this in your store cupboard already, which is why I'm using it today. So you can actually use it for another couple of recipes. Ingredients here, chili, onion, garlic, salt, spices, prawn. Delicious, right? Again, bit of fermentation going on in both of these sauces, which brings the flavor super, super quick. So let's get some of that in the pan. You don't want a huge amount, just enough to start caramelizing the fish. Now, top tip, a couple of pieces of kitchen paper in your bowl and just pat dry the squid as much as you can because we don't want a pan full of water. We want a pan of caramelizing delicious squid. Now, a pan, you can see it's starting to smoke. That's when we want to go in. So straight away, in. Well, we'll just toss it off. You can see instant caramelization on there. That's what you're looking for. We're gonna go in with oh, roughly a tablespoon of each of the barbecue sauce and the uh, nasi lemak. And then we're gonna get that 
cooking with the squid. So the smell coming off this now is unbelievable. Our squid is cooked, so now we want to hit it with some lemon. So let's roll the lemon, make it nice and juicy. Lime, 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 it's a lime. My God. Then we're going in with the lime. Straight into the pan, out of the pan. God, I can't English today. Look at that, look at the sauce. That sauce really is our dressing. That's what's making this salad. While we basically do the rest of the salad, which is super simple. We've got our cucumber, which has had the water coming out of it. We just want to squeeze. Then we're going in with torn herbs. We've put barbecue sauce that's fermented and we've put the nasi lemak in there, which is pretty spicy. So we want to bring some kind of relief for people in the form of the herbs and the mint will really do that. Just cut the coriander in half so that it's more salad-esque. And now all I've got to do is mix this together. So mixing through all of that deliciousness together. Wow, the smell of the herbs, the chili sauce, the barbecue sauce, the squid, nice and fresh and delicious. Okay, now our crackers. Get your crackers and just smash them. How crunchy, how delicious. Mix that through. So all we gotta do now is plate it. Usual scenario, just let it fall in the plate, give it a little bit of height. Squid salad that you will not regret making and it took what, five minutes? Get after it, it's delicious.